This call is being recorded. I am Sananda. Yes, it was I that guided you to be with your higher one. To help you to remember, to help you to know all that is coming for you, all that you have come here for. You have all come with this connection. Every, each and every one of you came here from these higher aspects of yourself to experience and know these lower levels so that you could bring about the changes, the shift, the transition that was needed here on this planet so that you could bring this planet and all of the people along with you and be a part of this expression of the new consciousness. And you are this new consciousness. If you come to understand anything through all of these messages, it is that you are this new consciousness. You are the changes that are happening here on the planet. And once you have come to understand that you are these changes, then you will come to understand that everything is happening here because of you, because of all of you, because of the collective you. This collective consciousness is creating everything here as you move closer and closer to the new golden age here on this planet. Know that there have been previous golden ages here on this planet. This is not the first. But you are here to experience this, to bring this about, to create this transition for all to become established here, for all to, be, to come to know and understand who they are, what they are here for. Times that are approaching are shifting now. There is much shift, there is much change that is happening. And as you are continuing through this shifting, these shifting changes, you are being readied and prepared and trained to be ones that will assist in this entire process, just as you are now. For each and every time you do these meditations, you are either helping to shift your own consciousness or the consciousness of mankind or both at the same time. And this time today was about you shifting your own consciousness was about you creating that connection or reestablishing that connection that you have always had. You have simply forgotten. But forget it not much more because it is all coming together. Everything is being brought back to where, from where you once came. As you have been hearing, sit back, relax, fasten those seat belts. True that the ride might get a little bumpy here and there, but it is nothing that you cannot handle, nothing that you have not been ready for. Just be ready to be in the right place, the right moment, at the right time, because with all of the synchronicity that is happening, you are beginning to notice that more and more that everything is becoming synchronistic. And if you are a part of that great synchronicity that is happening here now, and you will continue to have these events, these synchronous events that will occur in your lives, because as you are moving into these higher vibrations more frequently, more consistently, 
you are going to experience many more of these synchronicities in your life as everything is coming together into one timeline. You have heard previously that the two, the, the timelines have split into two or more, and that is correct. But eventually the two timelines will split completely and you will be left with the one. That is the one that you are moving toward into the new golden age that is upon you. I am Sananda. I love you deeply, more than you can possibly imagine. I leave you now with all of my peace and love. And I exit now for another to briefly speak with you here. I am Lady Nada. I wish to come through this one, although there was a little bit of a reluctance on his part, but it, it is so, it is needed that I can come and share my energy, my love, my expression with you, especially on this day, this wonderful day which you call Mother's Day because it is a time of sharing, it is a time of growth, it is a time of oneness that you are all approaching now. And everything is coming together as you are hearing so often. Everything is coming together exactly as it needs to be. There needs to be no concern, no worries, certainly no fears on your part. Because as my dear one has said, Sananda, you are in the right place, in the right moment, at the right time for everything to come together, for everything to become as one. And you, each one of you, to realize that you are already in that oneness. You just have forgotten it. You just do not feel it all the times because this three-dimensional world is still pulled somewhat over your eyes. But your eyes are opening now. They are opening with a new expression. Your third eye is reestablishing itself and opening up to the new worlds, the new vistas that are in front of you, the beauty that is everywhere. If you seek the beauty, you will see the beauty. If you believe it, you will see it. That is the way it is. That is the way it will be and always shall be. So, do not be concerned, my dear brothers and sisters. Everything is exactly where it needs to be. You are exactly where you need to be. And as Sananda has said, the synchronicities in your life are going to increase many times over. And you will marvel at how everything is coming together for you. So be of good cheer. Be of love between each one of you because love is the expression that will take you into these higher vibrations and into these higher dimensions. I love you dearly, each and every one of you, and I will be able to be with you more often now as I have a connection also with this one, James, just as my dear Sananda has, and with many of you here as well both here in the room and on the phone. So we are all in this together, and I send you all of my peace and my love be with all of you now, as I am Lady Nada. Thank you. Om Mani Padme Om Om Mani Padme Om Ma -om, ma -om. Greetings to you. Greetings. One who serves here to answer your questions, if you have any. If not, it will be a rather short session. Mm -hmm. But that is okay, because we have things to do, places to go, you know, just as you do. No, just joking. We have nothing to do. We just sit around all day and twiddle our thumbs and meditate, go home all day. That is what you probably think, no? Well, no, we don't do that. We party, we 
have fun, we dance, we sing, we have wonderful times, just as you are going to when you are able to go up on the ships and down into inner earth and it's going to be so wonderful and we are so looking forward to your expression, your expression of surprise when you see some of us and you say, oh, that's you, oh my goodness, I had no idea. We are so looking forward to that. We are going to have such a chuckle over this, and uh, we are going to sit there and drink our wine. And yes, yes, we do drink wine. Do not think we don't. If Yeshua could do it, we can do it, can't we? So anyway, uh, matter of fact, didn't he change water into wine? That's how much he wanted wine. <laughs> so do you have questions here for when who serves? One who serves, can you hear me? This is Vidya. Yes, we hear you loud and clear, Vidya. Yes, thank you. Uh, one who serves on Sunday night, I had a very interesting experience. And uh, on the second part of my experience, I am I trying to understand who that woman was. Was it me? Was it my ego? Or what happened? Can you please shed some light on this experience? Thank you. Did not hear quite the, the first who was here. You, if you were a little bit broken up here. Okay. Can you hear me better now? Yes. 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 Okay. On Friday night, I have an important experience, and I would like to have a little more explanation, especially on the second part. Who was that that woman in the second part? Was it my higher self? Was it my ego? Or can you explain a little more, please? Thank you. First of all, for this, can you please share for everyone who is experienced or is listening to this, what you are expecting or what you are uh, speaking about in terms of what the experience was. Are you talking about dream? Are you talking about uh, a vision you had? Well, it was an innovation, not a dream. I went to this chairman and I took this ceremonial smoke or vapor. And uh, that's what it was. Yes, now we understand. Okay. So to look at this from a different point of view, you might say, as you are looking at this particular vision that you had and the experience of the woman that came into this vision, it was the aspect of yourself as you were uh, being shown here in this day here uh, by Sananda as you connected with this aspect may not have looked exactly the same as you just did this here today, but it is one and the same. It is an aspect of yourself that you are coming to know and understand. And we're glad that you have brought this up because this is for everyone here. Everyone is going to be having more of these types of experiences where you are going to be reconnecting with all of those ones that uh, you had left behind previously or that had left you behind in times long past. So you're going to have these connections more and more, may possibly be within your dreams or your visions, and some may even have them in their waking conscious state. But it is coming, so you are going to be experiencing this more and more and more. It goes along with the synchronicities as Sananda and Lady Nada have given here. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Other questions here? I have, I have a question. Yes. This is Gail on the phone. Yes. Um, there was another lady uh, in the room there who experienced um, um, three knocks on the door. I had one um, while I was in like a, kind of like a meditative state. 
and I had this three forceful knocks on the door, and I was wondering um, what what that was or who that was. Or... This is a precursor. This is the beginnings of what we spoke of very long time ago for this group. Mm -hmm where we spoke about uh, one particular time, you will have a knock at the door, and uh, one of us will be there to greet you as we come to your group, to your meeting here. That is coming. That is uh, not something we simply made up and it's not going to happen. It is. You are going to either experience one of us or you're going to experience one of those that comes from the inner earth or uh, maybe even uh, one from the high above in the, the galactic area. But it is coming and this is showing you that uh, they are aware, they are here, they are available. They are just not showing themselves yet to you at your state because you need to come up to them. You need to come up and uh, raise your vibrations. And when you have raised your vibrations significantly, then those that are uh, waiting just outside of your door, you might say, can then come in and be with you. So this is a beginning here. Those that are experiencing this are opening the door for all of this. This, by the way, is happening not only here in this group, but many people across the planet are experiencing this. They are not saying it outright because they do not want to think everyone to think they are crazy and put them in the crazy part, but uh, they are experiencing it nonetheless. And it will come out more and more as people begin to share not only the visions that they are having, but the actual physical experiences that occur, but at the higher levels, higher vibrational frequencies. Okay. I have another one, too. Um, uh, I guess maybe about a year and a half ago during a meditation, I saw um, a picture, a vision of a being that looked like it could have been me, um, looked like they were uh, Peruvian or something. And, um, I was wondering, was that an aspect of me? Yes, that was an aspect of you, yes. Many and, of you get it, these visions, these understandings, but you discount them. You think they are not real. You think they are your, here's that word, imagination. And how many times have we said over and over, your imagination is more real than your reality here that you think in this third dimensional illusion? Your imagination is more real. Begin to think on that. Begin to contemplate that. When you imagine something, you are imaging in. You are using your third eye center and opening up the vistas of the other worlds that are within you in consciousness. So all is it of this is that you could run into your. Is it possible that you could run into uh, an aspect of yourself physically? Yes. That is going to happen, yes. It is not like your movies say that you can not go back into a past lifetime uh, and, and see yourself back there. Not a lifetime so much, but yeah, yes, Charlie, yes, lifetime. Go back into a past lifetime, see yourself there, and communicate with yourself. You can do that. But there is the idea of uh, moving into a past time and changing what is there, changing what occurred, and then that change re, re, uh, coming back, you might say, into the current lifetime or the current timeline. We're speaking of timelines here. And coming back into the current timeline and making a shift here in things in this new timeline or the timeline that you find yourself now. And this has happened. You know it as the Mandela effect. That these things are happening, and you are experiencing this, and there are certain small shifts in the timelines that are occurring. They are not large shifts because they are not allowed. There is what is called, uh, from your understanding, they would be called time police. 
And they are there, time guardians, rather. Not police, but time guardians. And they are there to uh, continue to keep the timelines from merging together so that there can be major shifts in those timelines. That is not allowed. Okay. It's so exciting. Thank you so much. Yes. Any further questions here? Question. Uh, this is well, you know who I am. Yes, we know who you are. <laughs> I stay. We yeah. know what you are too. <laughs> but you don't. No, I know. Not really. <laughs> Surprise! Yeah. It's going to be wonderful times. Yes, there will be. Um, at the last advance, on I think it was the last night, we did quite a bit out of body stuff and. I don't remember where we were or what we were doing, but it had to do with the light warrior thing, which I'm familiar with. And I felt like I had these um, something around my wrist, like some sort of sort of energy or cuffs or something. Um, can you explain that, or, or was that just my imagination? <laughs> oh my goodness! Did you just say what we think you just said? Time. You see, if you think it is just your imagination, then that's all it becomes. Right. No, I know that. I'm teasing. Oh, that. you're tweeting. You're teasing <laughs> us. Oh, you're joking here. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. We get it back a little bit yeah. here. Huh? Yeah. To understand or to explain to you what occurred there, yes, you had many uh, out-of-body experiences. Those of you that participated in this advance, many out-of-body experiences you had. And you experienced these things, such as you are saying, the energies. Certainly you yourself, as you have heard many times, you are very involved in energies. You are more involved in energies at those higher vibrations that you came from than you are in the three-dimensional illusion that is happening here all around you. So when you feel these energies and you experience them, and even if you see them, they are very real, very real indeed. And it is, uh, it is, it can be called your imagination, but it is so much real that uh, it is something that is wonderful that happened here. What I was curious of was if if that was a part of my so-called uniform or something that on my wrist that I used in some way. It has to do with your warrior image that you have been given previously. Okay. Yes. That's kind of what I thought. Yes. Thank you. You <laughs> thought right. <laughs> yes. Other questions here? Hello. Oh, yes. This is Yvette. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being with me and us. And and I want to say that I was so excited when Sugagagaru came through. So much joy, much joy. Um, this is a hard question for me to ask. I've been holding back on it, but um, I'm I'm related to someone. I'm related to someone who has a mental illness. And when you brought up the wine and joy and we'll be sharing together like that, um, this person has such a problem with their pills and wine and wanting to be in joy. And I I understand us wanting to have a, a higher feeling and love and happiness, but I don't know how to I can't be around this person and and I'm bringing this up because I'm a therapist and I'm I I'm in service I work on people all the time and I know there's so much pain and suffering and so I just wanted if you can understand what I'm trying to get at that how can we detach from these people that want to be intoxicated to feel better and how we can still be in service and not have their energy bring us down? If you can shed any light on that. 
Yes, we understand completely, and it is exactly as you just say. Share the light. Spread the light. Be the light. And as you work with the light within yourself, nothing can, uh, nothing can penetrate that. And certainly if you use your Merkaba as a force field around you, you would be amazed at how you would be able to deflect those uh, negative emotions, those negative feelings, uh, anything from outside of yourself, you can deflect it away from you. So as you work with these ones, wh whoever they are, and they are in these lower vibrations, you protect yourself with this light, and you can protect yourself with this uh, with your light uh, vehicle or your merkaba, your light body. You can protect yourself just as it is a force field. Surround yourself with it as you move into this particular session with whoever it is, or if you move into a room that you uh, enter and you feel these negative vibrations. Protect yourself. You have the ability to do that. Each and every one of you that resonates to these words, that understands what we are saying, you have the protection already. Use it. And if you do not think you have it, call on those that uh, can be there with you. Call on your angels, your the archangels, uh, Sananda, Yeshua, uh, Saint Germain, and, and on and on and on. And they will be there to help you as well. But do Thanks. it. Protect Thanks. yourself. You I do, think you I just need to do it. Be, you cannot be harmed with these lower vibrations if you believe you cannot be harmed. Okay? Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll just call more. I'll just call more because I do all that, but maybe I'm just stepping up more that it's time for me to be a much bigger light. And I'm very grateful for your answer. Yes, and also know that the light, you are the light. So the light within you, the source within you is there always. Know that. And your the source within you will protect you as well. You have you. so many ways of uh, moving through these lower vibrations in this three-dimensional illusion that you, up to this time, you have not really understood. But you are coming to it. All of you are coming to it, coming to understand that you can be in the lower vibrations and protect yourself from it. But that does not mean that you should throw yourself into those lower vibrations if you do not need to. For instance, how many of you used to like to go to... Uh, uh, as we are finding here within the James ball games or uh, places where a large number of people meet and you are there in like concerts and things of this nature, those types of things. And you used to enjoy them and be in them, but now you find yourself not wanting to be around all of those people and all of those vibrations. And those vibrations begin to bombard you. You know it when we speak here, no? Yes. 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 Let's get an affirmation here. Yes, we understand. Yes. 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 We are hearing all the yeses in the background that are not coming on the phone but saying, yes, yes, that is us. We understand that. Yes. We're in the same yes. way. Yes. I have another question. Your question. Yes, that was wonderful. Thank you. Yes. I have another question. This is Gail again on the phone. Um, yes. I've been told that um, I had a channeling with um, Michael Elijon, and um, in that um, I was told that um, I was on the council, on many councils during my sleep, I would come, uh, go to the councils and be on the councils. And Sananda says that he's going to ask us to be on the councils. Now, are these the, are these the same ones that we're just acknowledging, or is it going to be a different council? These are one and the same, these councils that are being spoken of. You have to understand that the Galactic Federation and those of the in inner Earth, hollow Earth and everything, have councils. They have elders, they have councils. They do not have Congress and representatives and president and 
all of these things, they have councils. And these councils meet in many different uh, systems and galaxies and and solar systems and so on. And there there are councils within councils within councils. And at the higher levels that you're you, at your higher aspect. You are in those councils. Many of you are in them. Many of you participate in them. Michael Elijan is one who is in one of these councils. And he is uh, uh, bring, gathering, you might say, those around him back to uh, be a part of these councils, just as Sananda is. Sananda has spoken of this several times here and is moving closer and closer to when he will uh, announce that these councils will be forming. They will form first at the uh, higher vibrations in terms of in your etheric and your astral forms, and you will join these councils at that level. But then they will come into your new physical expression as you continue to move this up. So all of this is coming, and yes, you are part of these councils at the higher vibrations. Many of you who are experiencing these words, resonating to these words, are also in these councils, or will be in these councils. And we have said, and, and we have heard uh, your thoughts at these times, and saying, not me, I can't lead anybody, I can't be in a position like that, I don't want to be president or anything of this nature. And we say, though, that you have already been these things before. You are just moving back. You see, those of you that are here, those of you that are the light workers and light warriors and all of this, you have already been at those higher, uh, higher positions, you might say. Not positions in terms of hierarchy, as you understand them here, but higher positions in terms of responsibility. And uh, you have been there, done that, and you are going to be doing it again. I got news for you. It is going to come around again, and you are going to be part of these councils, and you are going to be ambassadors and diplomats and all of these things that uh, you may already be aspiring to. But uh, maybe have it not it has not come yet to your conscious knowing awareness, but it is coming. Okay. Did we get it okay here? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Very good. <laughs> we can take one more question, and then we need to release channel here. Is there one more question? Hi, this is Myra on the phone. Um, can you give us an update on uh, Montauk Long Island after we had the advance? Any updates, please? Thank you. Wonderful. Yes, we are glad you, that you brought this up. We could not bring it up unless somebody else did. But yes, your uh, experience over the advance had a great deal of effect in that area, as you were told at that time, but it is since also uh, continue to have more of an effect. As a result, there are uh, meditations that are being geared toward this same thing that you did, not in the same way, but in uh, focusing in that particular area. That one you know of as COBRA has announced this in, in, in just recently, that uh, there is a push, a need, to uh, express toward that particular area because that is a an area that is still of much darkness, but it is dissipating and it will dissipate more and more as more focus is put there in your meditation time. Okay. Thank you. Yes, we are going to need to release channel now and uh, just to know that as you continue continue on with this program, and it is a program that you are on, and you are all moving beautifully through this program. We are so proud of all of you, every, see, each and every one of you. Sananda is proud of being the uh, one that is uh, spearheading all of this with you, Thank with you this Lord. particular group. They, you've taken you under his wing, you might say. 
Uh, does he have wings? Not quite so like Archangel Michael, but I guess he can have them if he wants. But anyway, <laughs> under his wing, under his arm, you might say. And uh, all of us are very uh, proud of you and looking forward to working more diligently with you as we continue to move along and as we come closer and closer to the proverbial finish line. That is still there, and it is coming, and it, uh, you are going to be crossing it. Okay? Shanti, peace be with you. Shanti. Be the one. Shanti.